Hello everyone, welcome back for another exciting tutorial and our first one in X-Plane 11 and my gosh, look at this, it looks so shiny, going to the cockpit, look how nice things look man, I mean, ugh, it's so nice. So anyways, again, like I just said, we're going to be talking about the mixture today. So we're talking about our little red knob here, the nice big shiny red one. And usually they say never touch the red button, but today we're going to be using this wonderful knob here. And we're going to talk about what exactly this guy does and why you should really care about it. Because next to the throttle, it's one of the most important ones. Alright, so what the mixture does is that the mixture controls the air and fuel mix pretty much. While your throttle controls how much really gets to the engine. So the more, as you can see, more power. And of course, you can bring the throttle back, all right? All right, if you have from the ground up on page 62, there's a really good diagram that shows what exactly the inner workings of the mixture valve are with the carburetor and everything. But today we're gonna be talking about why you should really care about this little guy. All right, I'm just gonna touch on six main reasons why this little knob here is really important. Okay, as you probably know meteorology, uh, different altitudes, different weather, things like that can affect combustion needs, right? So if you don't need as much fuel in your mixture, you can lean it back a bit and vice versa, right? So it's just kind of like a, for example, a snowblower or a lawnmower. Secondly, a higher mixture, so let's say full in, is better for a high power setting. So for example, take off um, whenever you're climbing altitude, things like that, because you want more fuel better power. However, vice versa, you want a lower mixture setting for a cruise, right? Because again, if you're going to be higher altitude, if you're going to have the engine on for a while, and if you're just even on the ground for a while, like ground leaning, um, you're spending less fuel. So that leads into kind of three and four um, economy of fuel, right? So it's going to cost you less because you're using less fuel, a little bit more air, as well as you'll have an extended range, all right? So more operating time, hopefully, as well as, last but not least, a smoother and healthier engine, all right? All right, so we're still on idle here. Let's take a look at the engine temperature gauge, this guy right here. Watch what happens when I start to lean the mixture back, so less fuel, more air. You see it start to rise. In real life, it's not that dramatic, um, but they do a nice job simulating it in X-Plane 11. But yeah, because again, it's gonna get a lot hotter, right? So you can actually control your engine temperature in this simple method, right? So if it gets too hot, maybe you should add more fuel. And of course, more fuel, the temperature goes down. All right, so that's a nice way to control a GT. Um, another thing I wanna show you is that part of the ground checks as well for most aircraft are your RPM drops, right? Because eventually what happens is that you don't have, have enough fuel to sustain combustion, right? So Watching that RPM gauge, you slowly see it go down. Oh, and then as soon as you see it drop off, you put it back in to get that mixture back up and it's running again, all right? So this is actually one of the checks on the Cessna checklist and most other combustion aircraft there, is to pull out and go back in just to make sure that your fuel flow is running correctly. And just to mention as well is the mixture control is also how you turn off your aircraft's engine at the end of the flight. So, for example, uh, let's just say we landed, we're parked, we did all of our other checks, we checked 1 to 1.5 to make sure our transponder's not going off, all that other stuff. Um, you would slowly bring back the mixture, and that's pretty much how you turn your engine off. It's not like a car, right? Like, of course, you turn your uh, these guys off, you do your check with the mags, you turn your master off, everything else. But literally, this is really like the last major step when you're turning off your engine. So you pull that sucker back, there's no more fuel going to the engine. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So again, guys, this is just kind of like a little test tutorial with the new X-Plane 11. I just wanted to see how it looks um, while also giving like a little tip about mixture, right? So um, don't be afraid to play around with it. Like fly around, cruise, see how it reacts to more mixture, less mixture if you're in a simulator. In real life, obviously, be careful, but it's it's a really nice tool, and it's a lot of things that um, people don't really pay attention to, right? Because just like the uh, feathering video I did on the uh, RPM gauge, 
it's something that a lot of people don't really pay attention to when you're in a flight sim, right? It's just like, oh, I just need to pay attention to the throttle. But if you want to use the sim to its full capacity, definitely try to play around with the mixture a little bit and uh, see what can happen there. So thanks again for joining me with this tutorial, guys. Let me know if there's anything else you want to know, learn, see, etc. Find the answer to life, all that other fun stuff. Um, like and subscribe. Comment below what you think. Do you have any funny stories about mixture? What do you know? I'm not talking about mixture at the bar. But yeah, anyways, have a great day, guys. And as always, happy landing.